Hey yo everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I'm trying to be a little quiet because Imran just fell asleep. But today I'm here with another vlog video for you guys. I have quite a bit to get done and technically I'm filming this intro at the end of the vlog. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm gonna start off by opening our Pat Pat package. Super excited to open the package. Are you with it? There's Kale. Him and his preteen self. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness! The Christmas pajamas. Is this for me? Let me see. Um, nope, that one's Imran's. Is this for me? No, this one's also Imran's. Is this for me? That one looks like mine or Bubba's. This one's yours. Yay! Yay! Gosh. Oh my gosh. What's Wait, this one's also pepper? yours. What's my pants? Look at your pants. All right, Navy wants to put these on first. Look how gorgeous this Yay! print is. She's very excited. My, my, my. I only got this print for Imran and Navy. I'm obsessed with it. Oh my gosh, it is so freaking cute. I love the material, super soft. The print is so bold in color. I love it. Navy, you ready to put it on? And then here's Imran, same concept, but it's a onesie with little buttons on the bottom here. Oh, I am so jealous. I should have gotten everyone this print. This is so freaking cute. All right, let's see, gorgeous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo! Yep, y'all know Navy has to do a little test run in their clothes to make sure they're toddler approved. <laughs> <laughs> yep. How do they work, Navy? Good. Good fit? Do you like the Christmas trees? Yeah. Honestly, that set is so what freaking is cute. It pink? Is there pink on there? Yeah. So I don't know if the camera's picking up, but this is actually hot pink, not red. It's got, pink. yep, hot pink and then like a foresty green and kind of like a baby no, look. sky blue to it. It's really faint, but I love the color combination. The paint. It looks like paint. <laughs> Imran is content, so I'm not gonna move her and put her in this, but I kind of want to get this one for Kale and I because come on. I love how each tree is kind of different with the colors and the patterns and the way that they look. Ugh, my favorite. Here's a set that we all have. So Kale and I are also going to try ours on. This one's a little short sleeve onesie. It says Merry Christmas. It's kind of like a very deep teal. It's more like a dark bluish green, not so much forest green or anything like that. So it has hints of blue in it. I love the print of the writing, how it's like big and bubbly. So there are snaps down here for Imran's and then snaps up here by the neck as well. I got her three to six months, but the rest of us also got this set. So we're all gonna try it on. For Navy's shirt, the simple collar kind of like Imran's. <laughs> and then for Kale's and mine, because I got him an adult size, it has a collar here and it's a button down instead of just like a regular t shirt. It's kind of more like a blouse style. Look at everyone! Oh, it's my a God. me! <laughs> that. The way I'm obsessed right now. We all look so. obsessed with the material. I really, really love this. The color is gorgeous. I got me a woman's large and then Kale, I got him small. Yeah. This just made my entire day. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> Here's the next set. This one's actually long sleeve, I think. Yeah. 
This one's long sleeve. They're all the same style wise. Like we don't have collars or anything. And the pants, are they long? At the, okay, so at the bottom of these, they're cinched. Whereas the green ones are kind of flared at the bottom. slightly different but also these fit a little tighter than the green ones because of all the cinching so if you want a looser fit i would recommend if you want this one to Look size up like for kale because i got him the adult small red one actually fits him a little better lengthwise because at the bottom the pants are cinched so they're not kind of dragging on the floor but if you want a looser fit size up these if you want a tighter fit in the green ones you could definitely size down because there's a lot of stretch to the green ones i don't know which one i love better for us i say the red ones you like the red ones best? No, I was I thinking, think which one are we gonna wear for Christmas Eve red, and Christmas morning? Red, red. because Santa wears red and white. Gray, this is gray, red and gray, white. Gray, True. Gray, oh, gray, maybe some gray, green though. Green. Emma, do you say red? I'm <laughs> big um, yes. Mom, what do you say? I don't know, I really like both, but I might be leaning towards red. I'm obsessed with all the pieces. These are so adorable and I don't know, it's kind of got me in the mood, ready for Christmas. If you're looking for matching Christmas pajamas that won't break the bank, Pat Pat is definitely the place to go right now. Not only are they super cute and they feel great, but they're actually really cheap as well. So that's a win for me. I will put my code on the screen, but also in the description box and pinned comments, as well as a link for you guys to do some early shopping for matching Christmas sets. I'm so in love. I am, I am like a huge sucker. I don't think you guys understand. I'm a huge sucker for matching pajamas for the holidays. I honestly could not be happier. I'm gonna change back into my normal clothes and then we have some cleaning to do. Yes, ma'am, we do. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so later after Kale's football game, my mom and I are going to Costco. What I'm going to do is clean out the fridge because there's stuff in here that's probably no longer good and needs to be all taken out. I don't even know what this is when I ask my son to put the food away. And so instead of putting it in a Tupperware, he just puts the plate in there. So that's no longer good. <laughs> we might as well have just thrown away that little bit of rice at that point <laughs> anyway i haven't cleaned the fridge in like a month and normally i clean about once every two weeks or once a week depending it's very dirty i desperately need groceries so we've kind of been like grasping at straws for food at this point and then we just kind of kept whatever leftovers we had but she definitely needs to be wiped down needs to be emptied out and made room for new groceries so i'm going to take everything out Okay, everything is out. Well, except for Kale's insulin, but I'll take that out later. Y'all, why is it so gross? <laughs> I think that's soy sauce. And in my head, it was all cleaned up and it clearly was not. I'm actually disgusted. Those are carrots that were soaked in the soy sauce. They look like worms. I don't even... Actually, y'all hold me accountable. Never, ever let me go a month without cleaning my fridge again. 
this is atrocious. I'm actually embarrassed for myself. Like I'm embarrassed with myself. I saw Latoya. What happened here? Like this is nasty. And you know what? This is why my eating habits have been shit lately because I tell you guys when things look nice and organized and clean, it just makes me want to eat at home more. This is why I've been not hungry. This is why I've been wanting to go out to eat because the fridge was a catastrophe in itself, but it's also filthy. And the catastrophe was just hiding the filth. It was seeping into my mental state. This makes so much sense now. I cannot let that happen again. All the drawers and glass and shelves are taken out now. So I'm actually going to be using this. I know I bought this for the bathrooms, but since I have an extra one, I'm going to use it to clean the inside of the fridge. I think it will be fine and serve its purpose. Again, I know this is for the bathroom, but I'm going to be using it in here just because I don't have a multi-purpose cleaner at the moment with like bleach type cleaning stuff in it. And this stuff cleans gunk and whatnot really well. So I'm going to use these two things. I think I'm going to go in with a paper towel first to wipe down the excess. And then I'm gonna spray this again and use the scrubber for the tougher stains. Cause a lot of it is still quite liquidy and I don't wanna go in with the sponge on that. So I'm just gonna double clean it. All right, I'm gonna let that soak for a few minutes. All right, so I got pretty much majority of that with the paper towel. I think I'm gonna add some dish soap in here for the scrub, just cause I wanna watch the fridge get sudsy. <laughs> but Better already, and that's what we love to see. Progress, baby steps. kind of squirt this randomly since I'm going to be scrubbing everywhere. I'm going to use the rougher side first and then I'll go in with the softer side. I might have to get the little detailed toothbrush to get in there. Soy sauce that got sticky and stuck to it. It's kind of gross.
It feels so freaking good to have such a clean fridge. Yeah. Oh my gosh, is right. Does the fridge look pretty, Naomi? Yeah. Yeah, just look at that, she said. <laughs> Honestly, I feel so much better <laughs> knowing that this has been cleaned. I'm gonna put our basics back in there, but the fridge is gonna be pretty much empty. That way we can just have a fresh, clean start. Had no idea I had so much pepperoni. I'll be doing a charcuterie board for the kids' birthday party involving pepperoni for sure this drawer is so deep that stuff gets like stuck back there so i can't always see it i try to keep everything forward but every time i open and close it like stuff moves and sometimes i just don't see it all the way back there it's like very deep <laughs> i'll do a better job about looking further back so i know how much meat is in here and as for this these were all in separate containers but i mix them all when I do kind of like my adult Lunchables anyway. So I just put them all in one bag to save space. Side note, um, we're in the middle of an eclipse and I put some water in here. I'm doing a bunch of cleansing work and stuff and I wanna charge this water. So I'm gonna put it out here for the eclipse. All right, this is all that is in the fridge, some eggs, and then I have more containers I need to put in here. Milk, Dr. Pepper, even a lot of the condiments that were over here were empty or there was like this much left. I'm not sure why we kept them. So I threw all those away. And now I know that we need ketchup and Caesar dressing, which are two things that we use a lot. It is a fresh, fresh start. When it comes to produce, I'm gonna start shopping and maybe even meet at either Central Market or Whole Foods. Walmart is just not cutting it anymore because every time I get produce there, it's bad within like a day or two. I'm not even exaggerating. I just picked up grapes from there two days ago. And when I went to go clean this out, it was like disgusting. They were all mushy and gross. The grapes used to last like a week. So I'm gonna have to start switching that up because I can't keep spending money on produce and stuff like that in it not even lasting a few days like one to two days is not okay half the grapes are already bad when they got to my front door so i'll be switching up where i'll be shopping obviously i'm going to costco but as far as like other stuff goes i probably won't be doing walmart or anything anymore <laughs> all right mama and i are at costco they got peppermint pretzels. Yeah. Is it too early for those now? No, I don't think so. Raspberry cookie tarts look delicious. These are individually wrapped. I think Kale might like these for his school lunches. Tamarind bites, chili. Look at this dried fruit charcuterie board. I love that. Snack club, chili and lime, watermelon rings. Chili and lime. <gasps> Peach and watermelon with tahini. I bet these are yummy. Those are $10. These are $7.50. Coconut crispy rollers. They have this flame and hot mix, 54 bags for $20. Flame and hot Cheetos, Doritos, Funyuns, fries. What is this? Deep roasted sesame dressing and marinade. This actually sounds and looks really good five dollars i do but i have some already at home oh, you do? yes but it is really good jack daniels tennessee honey cake i wonder if you just eat that plain you put some i bet syrup would be good on it churro donut bites kay would love these where are you even seeing it oh 28 carbs yeah for five well they those would be gone in like the first day i am so tempted for this olipop because you guys know that i'm obsessed with cherry vanilla dr pepper or coke and i'm wondering if olipop will handle that craving accordingly how cute i know <laughs> Twenty-seven for half a piece. Okay. 
Good lord, yeah. We won't let him know those exist. <laughs> I didn't know they sold the big packs of Scrub Daddies here. That's pretty cool, you get eight for $16. All right, Costco's closed. We got two carts. We ended up having to get a second cart. <laughs> but they're closed now, so we have to leave. Okay, so it's the next day. I'm gonna show you guys the Costco haul. We went to my parents. Well, after the football game, we went to Costco and then we went to my parents, had dinner and stuff. So we didn't get back to like nine something last night. But gonna show you guys everything I got. I put the stuff that needed to go in the freezer and fridge in there. So I'll pull those out to show you guys as well. So for pouches, I got the organic applesauce and then I got this organic fruit and vegetable pouch with apple strawberry spinach and apple mango yellow carrot peach. I did try my best to make healthier alternatives for snacks. Some stuff is still kind of like our usual, but I am trying to get stuff with fewer ingredients or no dyes, things like that. But it's not completely perfect. I got the Skinny Pop popcorn. We really like this. Got some more of these made good granola minis and chocolate chip and mixed berries. The kids and I really enjoyed these. It doesn't look like there's any dyes in this either, but these are kind of like a little sweet treat. They're individually wrapped. I got these raspberry cookie tarts. I thought these would be cute for Kale's lunches or really just for any of us but you know it's always nice to have a little treat in your lunch and I like that they're individually wrapped so Andy is a pickle connoisseur so we got two jars of pickles for her and then also got some of these I don't even know how to pronounce this a little croissant things with chocolate in them my mom took a few because she wanted them for my dad as well because I guess he gets stuff like this at Starbucks <laughs> So we kind of split this a little bit. I had stuff like this when we went to Italy for breakfast. It was pretty good. So I'll probably put a lot of these in the freezer. These I actually got for myself. I'm really excited to try it, but I thought these would be a cute snack for anyone or even like breakfast option. These Heavenly Hunks Organic Oatmeal Dark Chocolate. They're very squishy. They kind of feel like little brownies. They love oatmeal and chocolate. Also picked up some of these mini fruit bars from the brand That's It. My mom also took some of these for her and my dad. They're strawberry, mango, and blueberry. But the ingredients are apples, strawberries, apples and mangoes, apples and blueberries. So I felt like this is pretty much as good as it gets. Free from the top 12 allergens, no preservatives, no added sugars, 100% real fruit. You guys didn't know, Navy is a snacker. She's the queen of snacking, okay? So that's also why I kind of wanted to do my best in getting some healthier alternatives or like more dye-free things just because she's constantly snacking on stuff. Got some beef jerky that was also split with my parents. These are good for Kale because he doesn't need to take insulin for this type of snacks since the carbs and meat and stuff are low. Okay, now this one, <laughs> obviously we already know. It's churro donut bites. I knew the kids would really love these. They sound good, they look really good. I think this would be nice to have like as a side with other things to have this be the main course. But I mean, you could just put a few of these on the plate with some eggs, some fruit, some sausage or something, kind of like a little sweet treat with a meal. Or you could really use these as like a dessert for lunches for kids or yourself. Just put a couple of them in there. I got Navy, this Honest Kids Organic Juice Boxes. It comes with Super Fruit Punch, Aptly Ever After, Berry Good Lemonade, and Goodness Grape. So I swapped out the Capri Suns for this Honest Kids Juice. Got these Pure Organic Fruit Bars. They're kind of like the that's it, mini fruit bars. They're just a different kind of shape and length and also different flavors. So we got pineapple, passion fruit, strawberry, banana, raspberry lemonade. They do have more ingredients than the other bars, but I don't think there's any dyes in here. Flavors of these sound really yummy. Got these here mainly for Navy, but Kale could totally have one if he wanted them because the carbs are only three grams. So he could have these without having to worry about insulin for it. Fruits for vitamins, veggies for nutrients, healthy fats for brain power. It's the Amara yogurt smoothie melts and mango carrot. And there's also coconut in there as well. I don't know why it's not in the name there, but it's on the front picture and says it contains coconut. So she loves these type of things. She was very excited when she saw the box. I saw these and was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely picking these up. They look freaking good on the box. These Bobo's oat bites with 12 apple pie stuffed and 12 strawberries stuffed. 
Again, I think you could put like two of these for breakfast with some eggs, meat, fruit, cheese, or whatever. Also good to have by themselves for snacks. Up some of these Yogi's probiotic snack packs and also split with my parents. And I'm only mentioning that for things because I don't want you guys to think that I picked up already open packages at Costco. It's because <laughs> my parents and I divided and conquered in there. But this probiotic mixed berry and then strawberry. I might have to try some of these myself. They look really good. Real fruit bites coated in a creamy yogurt. Two billion probiotic cultures, three grams of fiber, and no artificial ingredients. Got some English muffins. These are really good to make breakfast sandwiches with. And what I like to do is prepare them, put them in the freezer, and then whenever we're in a rush or we need something on the go and we need a quick bite, then I just take one out, wrap it up in like a damp paper towel, put it in the microwave for a few seconds, and then it's ready to eat. Picked up this huge pack of tortillas just because we've been eating them a lot lately whether it be for enchiladas quesadillas tacos kale really likes roll-ups for lunch so we have a lot of ham and turkey roll-ups for him i do a lot of cheese roll-ups for myself and navy the black forest organic gummy bears so we swapped these out for the typical ones i would have preferred yum earth because i love yum earth but they don't have that at costco so I just went ahead and picked these up. The ingredients were better in here than the ones we typically go with. Never had this brand before, so hopefully they taste good. Some dishwasher pods. I wanted to get laundry stuff too, but by the time we got to this section, they were closed and they were hauling at everyone to get to the front. So I was only able to pick this up, but I'm happy that I got at least a big box of this. Obviously no, are not the healthiest, but they were the only kind of like Halloween themed snacks that I could find there. A bag of bones and this is is white cheddar, cinnamon sugar. And they also have obviously the normal crunchy and flaming hot. I was trying to find some like cute Halloween themed snacks and this was really all that was there. Got a big 54 bag of those. My kids are obsessed with Cheetos. Never had the cinnamon sugar ones though. I'm kind of excited to try that. Now this is why I wanted to go to Costco because the last time I went, I told you guys I got these. What I did not know is that they have pearlized sugar on them. So they are coated with like this little crusty, crispy layer of sugar and they are freaking divine. I mean, amazing. So you don't really need syrup. I mean, we still put stuff on it, but like just some fruit, they're fine. Whatever you wanna pair these babies with, just know that they are coated in this. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see those little crusties right there, but that is sugar. And oh my God, they are, I don't know. These are the greatest inventions. I just thought they were like plain Belgian waffles when I first picked them up. And I'm addicted. I'm obsessed. Got another pack of this pasta. So it comes with two bags of penne, two bags of fusellini, or we call it rotini, and then two bags of shells. Picked up the Kirkland Organic Chocolate Milk and the Horizon Organic Whole Milk. I first had this in the whole in chocolate, but then I saw this one where you got 24 instead of 18, and this was actually cheaper. So I would have picked this up in the whole milk if I could find it, but I didn't see any there. I don't know if they carry it and they were just out or what, but I just ended up getting the two different brands for the milk, and I love these little packs because they're easier to store since they don't have to go in the fridge right away but also the size is perfect for Kale to take with his lunches and for us to be like on the go. These Uncrustables, yes, I know that you can make these and just freeze them on your own or you can just make them. I know that, okay? But sometimes your girl just needs a little assistance and the kids love these, so I went ahead and picked some up. Swapped out the typical chicken nuggets for these real good ones because there's more protein in these and less carbs in these as opposed to other chicken strips and chicken nuggets, which means Kale can have breaded chicken as a snack and not have to worry about taking insulin because normally these have like 20 grams of carbs or more because of the breading. So I thought these would be really good for him and something different because I know he loves chicken strips and chicken nuggets and things like that, but now he can just have one whenever. And ingredients wise, these seemed a little bit better for you. So excited for him to try these. Got some five cheese ravioli. These go in the freezer as well. It's an almond flour pasta, which I don't know if I've ever had that before, but they look good. So for me and my cravings and laziness, I got these toaster grills, grilled cheeses. All you have to do is put them in the toaster. I am so excited. If you don't know me, 
I am a grilled cheese fanatic. And when I say fanatic, I mean I will go to a fancy restaurant and I will look at the kids menu and if they have a grilled cheese, I will order one. Okay, and I'm not kidding because I'm obsessed with them. And since it's getting colder out, I thought these would be good. Maybe I just pop a little can of tomato soup and then I pop one of these in the toaster and that's a meal. My kids don't really like grilled cheeses much. I'm the only one that really eats them. Not sure how they're my kids and they don't like grilled cheeses or cheese really in general, but that's a question for another day. I don't know, I'm so excited for these. They look so good. They kind of remind me of Sonic's grilled cheeses and I just had a Sonic Grilled Cheese the other day. So yeah, I'm happy about this. Got this huge ass box of mozzarella sticks. Another thing I have random cravings for is Sonic's cheese sticks. And though I don't think anything can beat that, these will help me kind of not go to Sonic and spend because this will help save me money. There's more in here. But also since the kids' birthday party is coming up, I thought this would be a good snack to have at their birthday parties. I don't know how you're approximating the pieces in here. I'm gonna be upset if there's 82 and not 92 in here. For Kale, I got these Chobani Zero Sugars. They come with strawberry, vanilla, mixed berry, and blueberry. He absolutely loves these, but he can have one of these without taking insulin. So they're good for school, they're good for home. He's also, I found some like zero sugar yogurt drinks that he loves. I didn't see them at Costco though. I've been finding them at Walmart. I would have picked those up for him if I would have saw them though. Also for breakfast, but could definitely put these in Kale's lunches if I want to do kind of like a breakfast for lunch for him. These bite-sized pancakes. I'm so excited. Do these not look freaking delicious? Oh my gosh. Oh, see, here they go again with that plus and minus. If there's not 72 or more in here, I'm going to be a little disappointed. I'm just saying. I did pick up some Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal. There's two boxes in here. I got Kale these Prime hydration drinks since I know Prime is all the rage right now. And I felt bad not knowing that the Glowberry that I got him for his birthday was a rare flavor or else I would have picked up so much more. I went back the other day at Target to see if I could find some more and they were all gone. And I'm having a hard time finding them for a decent price. When I looked up the Glowberry, you can get them, you can get like eight for $57 or something like that. So now that I know when I see a rare flavor, I'll pick up more, but they did have the Tropical Punch lemon lime and blue raspberry so i got these for him and i got the honest juice boxes for navy that way they have their own separate kind of juices and he can have these without having to take insulin as well because yeah the carbs are six and five so these will be good for him to take to school or for his football games or just have at home. All right, so that is everything I got from Costco. I'm going to put everything away now and kind of get ready for the new week coming up. I forgot I also picked up this big bag of hot dogs, Havarti cheese, which was split with my parents. I love Havarti cheese on my sandwiches and also got a big thing of turkey. I'm gonna figure out how to smell these as soon as I open this package I could smell the fruit bars try to organize these things a little bit so that looks a little bit nicer and they're not just thrown in there it actually kind of worked out that my mom took some of these so that they would fit in here Actually, I'm gonna mix these in with those since they're kind of the same thing. That would make more sense than putting them in separate bins. 
with the barbecue? No. Oh, well, I went and. Why did I buy that? Can we eat that? Yeah, to eat. All right, so that's what that is looking like here. Maybe I should, should I have put the flavors up top? I don't know. Normally, I'm very like particular about this stuff. I know I don't have a lot of time though with the baby and everything, but I just want it to look nice. Let me s turn all these around. I love it when a bin works perfectly. Like there was just enough of these berry ones to fit, so now I'm doing the chocolate chip ones. Here's everything packed for the pantry. All nicely organized. Still have a ton of popcorn. I'm going to put some popcorn in my room as well as the gummy bears. I'm going to put these in the pantry. This is what the fridge looks so far. Obviously, it's pretty bare. I clearly need fruits and veggies and stuff. I'm making a Whole Foods order to where I'll have fruits and veggies and whatnot. I'll leave this space open for leftovers. And I'll probably get something for me that goes in the fridge to snack on. Since these are all for the kids, I'll probably get something for me. I don't know. It feels kind of good to be starting over. <laughs> Y'all, it is, I mean, it's been a few days now. I kind of took a break from filming because I just needed to rest overall. Today is, what's today maybe? Wednesday. And guess where we're at? We're at the brand new Target. I was just at my parents' house talking to my dad and we were talking about it and he was telling me this is to be said the biggest Target and at least the Metroplex. It looks so nice on the outside, it's so freaking nice. This is huge for our area, okay? I told you guys in like a previous video, when we first moved here, there was nothing, there was like a population of 3,000 people, but we had Sonic, a Mexican restaurant, and a gas station. It was mostly farmland, so we've gotten a lot of new things over the years, and the population has gone from like 3,000 to nearly 40,000. So we've gotten a lot of new things over the years, but getting a Target, a target in this area is is crazy and the fact that it's the biggest oh my lord so i'm excited to go in here with the girls with me and i'm actually shopping for navy's birthday gift <laughs> mm -hmm. but i'm gonna give her the ipad and she won't really pay attention to me it just opened today it just opened so let's go shopping Look y'all, even the cart stores are nice. <laughs> it says opens October 22nd, but it just opened today. I don't know why they didn't take that down. Oh my gosh, the dollar section. It's huge in here. Look at all the balloons, Navy. Oh, so much Christmas stuff. Floors are nice bro oh my god i'm so excited i can kind of look around these candles are cute for three eucalyptus woods this smells a lot sweeter than i thought it would i really like that what else do we have frozen forest this is definitely like pine scent spiced citrus oh yeah i definitely love this one Midnight Sugar Plum. Oh, really love this one too. Loving the signs. Peace and joy. Happy holidays. The way everything is so organized. Uh, why did they put a blue star? Hmm, not loving the blue on that. Everything is still like nicely in its place and organized. Look at these cute little ornaments. these these would be so cute for a kid's tree like in a kid's room we have the nutcrackers and like this iridescent pink and green color there's obviously a green and pink thing going on right now 
because it's even in the towels and in all these like mini trees oh look at these of those i particularly like the white ones they got different textured ones and that like ceramic is that ceramic and pink green blue and white and they're all different patterns but some collectibles I don't know, it says collectibles. The little plushes are cute. I love the deers. Bunch of fuzzy socks. These would be good stocking stuffers. They got the green, non fuzzy ones like that. They have this one that says Christmas spirit. I like the colors on this one. I have the ankle fuzzy socks as well. So these are all, these all three. Oh, these are a dollar. I thought these would be three. Which are these? These are five. So the ankle ones are a dollar and the long ones are five. Little gingerbread and snowman baskets are. I love the gingerbread ones. You could put hand soap in there or like dish soap or something like that. And they have these little tin ones. The Christmas tree is cute. So these are five dollars. Sorry, I realized I forgot to tell you guys the price. They're probably five. Oh, they have a little sled or sleigh. I guess that's more of a sleigh. And trees, I love the tree one and the gingerbread one the most. These would be good to buy. These are, oh, these are only $3. I thought these would be five. But you could put a bunch of different candles, size candles in these. Look at these stackable mug sets. They have snowmen. Making spirits bright and tis the season. Oh, and the gingerbread. I love gingerbread decor and things. Those are five. Gingerbread breaker sign for five, and you can hang it. Got some banners for five. So that one's the nutcracker. Did I show what this one was? Oh, happy holidays. And then Merry Christmas. Loving these baskets. The tree one is so cute. We got peppermint. There's so much stuff. This sign is so cute. I would put that in the bathroom. Here's a metal one of the Christmas trees. And you could put like, you could get this and then you could put a bunch of like these in there or these, the smaller ones and you could create, even the ceramic ones, you could create your own little tree farm in those. That would be a cute decor moment. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are light. I thought they were going to be heavy. <laughs> these are super light. I love these. And you could put whatever you want on these. For decor and this just adds like dimension to it definitely gets <laughs> everywhere but those are so cute were these already cleared out this morning i wonder if that blue comes off to be more of a mirror but maybe not obsessed with that pillow have these little Christmas pot holders and a snowman and like Santa's mitt. Oh, and they have a gingerbread one. <laughs> His face. Look at these little mugs. These would be cute for kids for hot chocolate. It was getting a little crowded in the dollar section. So I left. It's so clean and together. Oh, they have a little Disney area. Let's look in here. Look at the little Jack Skellington. Oh my gosh. These are cute. Does this spin? <gasps> That's $40. I'm obsessed. They just have a variety of things. It's almost too pretty. Like, I could not let Navy run around in here because it would stress me out if she touched the shelves. <laughs> See, none of the other targets have this 
kind of Disney section, at least not in my area. Wait, oh, are you kidding me? Please, with the little bench for the kids to sit? Shut up. Talk about Bruno. Okay, so like the Jack Skellington, they also have him like the Avengers, Mickey Mouse, the Dalmatians, Spider-Man. I don't know what this guy is. Pixar, Red Panda? I don't know. Baby Yoda. <laughs> Look at this little candy basket. How adorable and I'm obsessed with the lights. I wish they were longer. I'm not a big like Disney decor fanatic, but that is really, really cute. The Love Every brand is in here. I have not ever seen this at any of the other Targets. You guys know I have a discount code for them, but it's cool to see it here in a store. I've never been in a Target that is so quiet. <laughs> like the only thing I can really hear is the music. <laughs> Okay, so like Kale's basket, I want to put some shampoo and conditioner and lotion in navies. Let's see. I'm thinking this honest one. I don't know. I want something that's kind of like aesthetic looking. Shampoo and body wash, conditioner, face and body lotion, bubble bath. Oh, perfect. And if you buy four or more, you get a $5 gift card, which I'm probably going to get. So I use the Mistella brand for Imran. I've never tried the Proudly brand. Have you guys had that? Do you like it? I did like the Shea Moisture for Navy. For me personally, Shea Moisture does not work, but I did like it for the kids. All over balm, mango butter, and jojoba oil. I don't know, the packaging's cute. Oh, if you spend $50 or more, you get a $10 gift card for diapers, wipes, and training pants. I kind of need that, but I don't really have anywhere to put it. That sucks. <laughs> I do need to start buying um, diapers and wipes for Emran. I'm almost out of my stuff for her. I don't have anywhere in this stroller to put it. Emran. I was like, can y'all see her cute little outfit? <laughs> She's wearing little, her little Halloween flare pants from Pat Pat and the little bow top. Did you have a nice nap? We're in the Hearth and Hand Magnolia section now. What is this, a bell? Oh, snap, that's heavy. Oh, a doorstop. <laughs> I'm not sure why she just grunted. I like that little advent calendar. Not very fun for the kids, but for me, it's pretty. Decorative glass house set. Look at that. It's $30. It's very light. I thought because it was glass it would be heavier. It's lighter than my baby for sure. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> this Bluetooth portable radio is freaking cute. Oh, again, thought that would be much heavier. For $45, I expected that to be solid. Like if the wind blew, that would fall over. I'm not sure why everything's so light. This one's heavier. $40. But still lighter than my baby at the moment. I do like this Stanley classic bottle. That's pretty cool. It's 1.5 quarts. Those stockings are stunning. They're $15. But I like the look of them. And the material is nice. Pillows are stunning. Oh, look at this candle. Love that. I'm only seeing one scent in Forest Fur, and that's not my favorite. Oh, they have this one. So this one's more gold. Whereas that had like blue, greens, and silvers. This one's not as woodsy. I like that one better, but I kind of like the candle holder of that one more. The neutrals and earth tones, which is my vibe. Love those big ass pillows. I kind of want some for the bed. That's why I like earth tones because they're good for any season. So really you could do any of these colors and keep it all year round and it would make sense. You know what I'm saying? It's those faux trees. I think those were here last year for 20. Oh, Imran, 
You're getting heavy. Oh my gosh. For 30. I love that. I didn't know Saltaire had hair care. So they have Beach Blonde Curl Control, Recover and Restore, Recover and Restore, and that's conditioner, and Santal Bloom Moisture Balm. What is this rhyme and reason? Love the packaging. Quench and Curl, Volume Boost, Repair and Restore, Nourish and Gloss. Honestly, I just can't get over how clean and untouched it seems like a majority of this stuff is it's making my mindset so happy and at peace it is starting to get a little louder in here though so more people are starting to come in these holler and glow eye masks are cute you're so golden babe vitamin c here's it oh four dollars holler and glow kiss it better babe lip shaped glitter pimple patches <laughs> you see this for four vitamin C water gel mask they do I like the names of those Navy's not really old enough for this stuff yet or else I'd put it in her little birthday basket soothe Squalane Watermelon, Collagen Peach for Plump. Those are $3. Am I seeing Tree Hut Christmas scents? I sure am. Whipped Body Butter and Foaming Gel Wash. I love the Berry and Bright. It smells so good. And then they got Candy Cane. But I'm not seeing the scrubs. Just the body washes and the body butters. And I went over to where the rest of the scrubs are and they didn't have any of the Christmas scrubs. I'm not sure why they put out the other stuff, but not that. See, I'm thinking here that they just haven't finished putting stuff out because ain't no way this is cleared out yet. I think I wanna get Navia chapstick because she's always stealing mine. What would be better for her? This one might be easier. Let's get her the honey one. So now I'm in like the Ulta section and here's all the way products. They have the scrub that I absolutely swear by down here. Here it says 40. I feel like on Amazon it's 38. Maybe I'm tripping. They got these chill pills. I do love the way products. Well, I've only used two, so. Hair oil is kind of intriguing. They got a smaller one for 16. Oh, if buy one, get one free for the minis. That's not bad. This stuff smells so freaking good. Oh my God, it smells luxurious. So the bath bombs, the chill pills are 50% off. So they're only $15 right now. I might pick these up. Okay, I didn't understand what these were. And then I looked down. So this is a Tony's set. It comes with, it looks like a... I want to see jukebox. That's so old school of me. Radio type thing. And you put these little characters on it. And it has songs that it plays, I'm assuming, from the movies. So they got Coco. They got Incredibles, Coco Melon. Peppa Pig. Paw Patrol. They have Wonder Woman. So this says just audio play. And some of them say with songs. So I don't know if the ones with audio play are just like quotes from them or they got Grinch, Mickey Mouse, Mater. What is this? Gappy's Dollhouse. Emren's getting irritated. I don't know. They have a ton. That's super cute. And they have a red, blue, and a pink. So these are $25. Look how big this Mondo Llama Color Your Own Gingerbread House Kit is. How freaking cute to do with the kids. And it has a Christmas bakery one. I'm definitely getting that closer to Christmas time because that is amazing. My kids would absolutely love that. All right, everyone's getting cranky, but we got some stuff for Navy's birthday baskets. And I have a little bit of cash left. So we are gonna go to Sonic and get ourselves a little drink and snack. I'm going to show you guys really quick what I picked up from Target for Navy's birthday basket. 
there's some stuff that I ordered on the Amazon that I'm going to put in here that I don't have yet. So I think probably in another video, I'll put this together for you guys. I showed you guys on TikTok, Kale's birthday basket. I got the Honest Nourish Face and Body Lotion in Sweet Almond with Jojoba and Almond Oil. The matching conditioner. The matching shampoo. And then I got the bubble bath. I picked up some of the Mondo Llama Glitter Paint Markers. Charity has the plain markers from this brand. I thought the glitter ones, y'all, she loves art to color, to draw. She's really getting into drawing shapes right now. She's actually pretty good at triangle and circle. We're still working on other shapes, but those two she's done quite well in. So I got the glitter markers. I knew she'd love those. So Navy's obsessed with Play-Doh. But I saw these Chuckle and Roar Wodos. There's eight colors. They're gluten-free as well as egg-free, milk-free, peanut-free, soy-free, and non-toxic. I got it mainly for the non-toxic part. I didn't realize all those other <laughs> ingredients were like in normal Play-Doh or whatnot. I don't really know. But we're going to try these. I liked the aesthetics of it for the basket. I also got her her own loofah. As you guys know, I got Kayla loofah for his products. So I got her one of her own. I should have gotten the pink one. I was thinking this was purple in my head. I had stuff kind of scattered in the stroller and I thought that this was purple. So that's why I got purple. But now that I'm seeing it, I'm realizing I was off on colors. Then I also got this sketchbook. So she has this one already, but it's almost completely full. So I picked up another one. It's just blank sketch paper so she can kind of color whatever she wants to on there. I might have to use, I might have to use a different bin for navy because I don't know if the rest of the stuff I got her will really fit in here with all these other kind of larger items. Kale's items were more vertical and these kind of have a little bit of width to them. So I might need to do a different basket actually. I got her her own chapstick and from Amazon I got like a new toothbrush for her. Just got her toothpaste so I didn't get her any toothpaste. One thing I want to put in here is gum because I put gum in Kale's and she really wants her own gum. So I'm going to put some gum in here and I don't know why I didn't pick any up at Target. And then I have like another little kind of mini toy for in here but that is navy's kind of birthday basket maybe i can make this work let me see okay no this bin works i still have room if i put it in this way i got her one of those smile toothbrushes i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about but it has a handle and then the bristles are in the shape of like your mouth so you put it in and kind of rotate it to brush your teeth she really tears up the bristles on like a normal toothbrush so I'm hoping that will work. But like gum here, little toy should fit up here properly. And then I got Kale of that prime drink. So I'm thinking maybe I should put a juice or a snack in here for Navy as well. But I think she'll be really excited for this. I kind of like the whole birthday basket thing. We got them other toys obviously for their birthday. But I'm kind of liking the idea of a birthday basket for the new age. You now I did like a whole like little man basket. Exactly, Imran. Exactly. So he got stuff coming into like a young man stage. And Navy's turning three, so I'm getting up there and I think it's cute. I like it a lot. But I'm going to end the video here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of vlog. I hope you all have a great weekend ahead of you and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.